Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video of Node.js tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how to write a simple hello world on your Node.js and how to create a text file with a predefined text in it using a method write file sync. And in this video, we are going to see a variable declaration. So the variable declaration on Node.js is exactly similar to a variable declaration of JavaScript because Node.js was built on top of JavaScript. So let's see how to define a variable, how to declare, define and assign a value to the variable. So to declare a variable, you should use a keyword var followed by the variable name. So let's say I'm going to store my first name to a variable name called first name. Let's say any name, John Mike. So John Mike is a string value and the first name is a variable name and var is a keyword which is used to tell the JavaScript that this word is a variable because of uh, the user have used this var keyword. So variable name acts as a placeholder to store the value that you are passing here with the help of assignment operator. So whenever you are assigning some value to the variable, you should use an assignment operator so that this value should go and store it in the variable name. So instead of putting this John Mike everywhere on your script, you can use this variable name and this variable name will retain this value. And when you are declaring a variable name, it is always recommended to write variable name with camel case it should always begin with lower case and the second word should be in upper case so that's the most common practice when declaring a variable but there are some programmer who used to separate the first and the second word with underscore so this should also be fine and but this is the recommended approach and the javascript is a loosely typed language because we are not going to tell JavaScript what is the data type that we are going to store in the variable. For example, if you take a typed language like Java, you need to define a variable name along with data type that you are going to store in that variable. For example, let's say you are going to store an integer. In Java, you need to do int num equal to something like 245 but this is not applicable in javascript and this javascript will automatically identify the data type based on what is the data that you have provided to the variable name for example it assumed this john mike as a string because you have put that in double quotes so whatever the value that you put in a double quotes or single quotes will be considered as a string in JavaScript. So if you want to see, so first let me print the first name so you can to print you can use a console.log so let me execute I am on the tutorial directory so if you want to execute this hello.js you have to use a node followed by the file name hello.js that's it and so we have used a variable name and this variable name contains John Mike and that's why it showed John Mike here. So if you want to see the type of first name, so if you see here, it print a string because the variable first name contain a string. If I assign some numeric value, then if I execute that, you can see that the data type was changed to number. So this is one of the greatest advantage in JavaScript. So you no need to define a data type when you are declaring a variable. So there are different data types available in a JavaScript. The most common is a string, which you can put that in a double quotes or single quotes. And another one is a number that you can put it as it is. You don't need to enclose within any single quotes or double quotes. So this JavaScript automatically identify this as number and if you want to add a decimal, you can put that as it is. Another one data type most commonly used data type is a boolean. So 
let me print that you can see that boolean so the boolean contain two values true or false that's it so let's see how the javascript works if we try to add two numbers or if we try to add two strings so let's say first name 23 i'm assigning a number to it let's say where second name equal to 43 so if i try to add the first name and second name i know this is not making sense but just to show you how this javascript work i assign a number to this variable so first name plus second name so if you execute that you can see that it showed the sum of first name plus second name and the same will be applicable so instead of adding those two numbers it's just going to concatenate the first name and the second name so let me execute that so if you see here it concatenate the first name and second name and showed as John Mike. So what would be the case if we try to concatenate the string and number? So let's check that out. And you can see that when you use a string along with a number, this JavaScript automatically consider this fortify as a string and concatenate this fortify to this string variable John. So this is how the JavaScript work. So you have to be very conscious when you are doing these kind of operation. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.